¡Quítate, subido! ¡Quítate! ¡Quítate, pendejo! ¡Quítate! ¡Una, dos, tres! Hi everyone, this is Ramos and welcome back to my network, Red Dead Redemption. And we just got, uh, what was it, Escuela? Yeah, we finally caught Escuela, this slippery motherfucker. I should have killed him. But no, I turned him into the government that, you know, has more balls in their, in their pocket. So, I'm going to go towards our next destination. I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright guys, we made it. Oh, long ride. An appointed time. What the hell am I doing back here doing these guys' missions? Unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you can tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. <laughs> Put the gun down, Americano. Yeah, yeah, mátalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda! Huh? Ay, Dios mío. Santa Maria! So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Shut that poor girl, man. Guapamo. Boom. Thanks, my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Yeah, but about her. Uh, we must escape now while we have the chance. Poor girl. A fool she was. Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Some of my best men are held in Agenda's jail. They will be a great help to us. Uh, fine. I'll go, but I'm sorry, Luis. I wish I could have helped you. So this whole town has gone to shit now. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That was gonna die, man. Ah, uh, shotgun and ammo full. Senor! Let us free! We will help you! Fine. Can't see shit though. Let's go, my friends. Sorry, I can't see shit, man. I just want big ass Mexican. Muchas gracias. 
Gracias. Okay. Still, I'm still kind of shocked about what happened to Luisa, man. That's just so sudden. Oh, oh, Okay. Oh, they sure do. Look at that. Is that it for Nope, there's still one more. Oh, you lucky bastard. Shot him right in the neck. You really want to die? Okay, let's see if I can snipe him out of that. No, I can't. I better take, I better take cover. Jesus, I almost died. Oh, I do like this single ball, uh, gun. I can take him down in one shot. Oh. Shit, another one got on there? No, you don't. Shotgun ammo. Repair ammo full. Go for the machine gun, John. Okay. We will blast through the door with gunpowder barrels. We will set up the barrels. Wait for my signal. Sure, no problem. In the meantime, we're probably going to get attacked, aren't we? Until you're ready. Is that the gist of it? Oh, I want to shoot it now so bad, man. There we go. Boom! They're running back to sight! Adelante! A la mansión! Oh no, they're still coming. I can still use this gun. Don't let Oh, fine. Whatever. I'm going. Oh. Come on. Oh. I really, really, really like this gun. Come on. Oh, right, let's go fuck him up. Okay. But I'm doing it because I want to and not because you told me. Oh, sweet. I can just use that, can I? There we go. That's much better. Come on. Oh, I gotta, I gotta shoot them quick before they kill me. Come on, die! There we go. Is 
that it? That it? Oh, there's still gotta be one more guy out there, right? There has to be. God damn it, I gotta go chase you down. Get back here! Get back here, I'm John! I got a big job! Fine. Where the hell is he? Oh, he is long gone. Hold on, where is he? It's over the hills. He's on the move, alright. I cannot find this dude. I think he's. I think he is over the hill. God damn it! Now I gotta go and fucking go after him. Why? I'm lazy. Yeah. God damn it! Making me fucking run and shit. Motherfucker! There you are. There. Jesus, man. I thought I missed that shot, by the way. Surprised he actually landed. Now what? Guess I gotta go back to Reyes, right? Oh, someone lost a hat. Oh, that's a shotgun. I'm really digging this the bolt action rifle. Ah, my comments. Ah, my comments. Alright, I'm here. What I miss? Come on! We can stuck it to my stagecoach! Go there! I'll cover you! It's a gentleman Williams! That's Williamson! Those two were in cahoots! Where the hell are the horses? Oh god, I fell! Don't shoot! Damn it. Oh... Uh, I trip and I died. It's a gentleman Williamson. Come on, John. Try this again, then. Vámonos, date prisa, cabrón. To the horses, compadre. We cannot let them get away. Try now to. Stand in fight. There we go. We don't want to do this, my friend. Boom. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, disable it. Okay, I didn't even read that, and I'm still trying to do the correct thing already. Shit, Tom? You shouldn't have left me to die, Bill! 
Well, nobody wanted you around, John. Jack probably ain't even your son. You're dead! You dumb son of a bitch! You two dumb see how crazy you are, right? You're a coward, Marston! Government! That way. I got my men, don't I? Oh, he's inside there? Oh, you're inside there, aren't you? Well, in that case... No, I'm gonna shoot you both. You always was weak minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane! Oh, all right, John. I, I, I'll, I'll come quietly. I'll... Allende is dead! Mexico is mine! Yep. I don't know how I could have changed the outcome of that, but either way, both of them were dead, and I wanted them both of them dead. My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, John. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave. She will be missed. Who was she? Your peasant girl wife-to-be? Oh, yes, of course. She... She will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I know Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull in was amigo. You never saw anything like her. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Okay, I sing. One thing sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Boom. And that's that, guys. Yeah. Yep. Looks like I'm heading back to Blackwater. More fancy words. Alright, how far is this place? That was my horse. I don't see him faster there. Uh, ready? It is way the fuck over. God damn it. <laughs> Why do they do this to me? Why? Oh man, I'll see you guys. Chipotle, I'll see you guys when I get there. Jesus Christ. See you again sometime. And we're here, guys. Yes, I paid to get here. I'm not driving all the way over there. Crazy? No! So, we got Escuela and we got Williamson. Those are the two guys, well, that we started the story out with to get, and we got him. Bear one the another's burdens. So we know about the leader and now is in Blackwater, so we're gonna start going after him. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107. Nine. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 
Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Sure. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. But the last thing I want to do is make martyrs out. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity River Boat. Oh, yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston. Your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Up to you, sir. Oh, Mr. Master. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. Forty-three. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston, <laughs> you're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. I thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. It's a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. 're supposed to be a changed man head for the wreck of the serendipity mr Fordham. Hello. okay it don't have any dialogue I'll skip it isn't this something lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization like you always say sir the higher the stakes the smarter you have to play the game I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite in any case I'm not sure mr Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a You best boy. watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whole son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Ooh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when we got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now, you stupid. 
but you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be, and it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you live. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. Ask. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp here. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's buy Dutch and finish this. I don't think it's been that easy, isn't it, boys? And right. Let's go, Mr. Marston. I'm hoping this comes to a point where I get to shoot you guys too, bastards. Oh, I want to so bad. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Hmm. Do what I want. Grown ass man, I pay bills. What are you doing? Tell me what to do. Oh, I wish I could just pull the trigger right now. Huh, I just walked all over that chair quiet, and then cracked it. You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. An informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, that's where I am. Huh. Oh. I wonder if I ever get to see my farm. Where are you going? Someone up. Shut up. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. Hmm. Oh. Go on. Those screams are coming from somewhere. Yeah, I'm trying to find where they are. Oh, gee. They're upstairs, but how do I get there? Oh, god damn it, I gotta go all the way past? Damn it. Who's out there screaming like a madman? Oh. Hopefully it's a government agent that got caught. Nothing here. Oh, there we are. Still nothing. Oh, what's this? Over here! I found him! Good God, that's a informant. 
Gnosis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Bit of a merkin? Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. What the hell's happening? Devil! We need to clear a path out of here. Oh shit, semi automatic. Sweet. You're making a big mistake. That's him. Oh, you shoot like women. There we go. Put down your weapon. Guess we're pushing downstairs, huh? Ah, uh, those itches. That's all of them. Come on, let's head for the pier. Now I'm fighting Native Americans? Oh. Oh, I love this pistol. I feel like I have an unfair advantage. That I can shoot more rounds per second. Oh. I really like this pistol. It's so slow. Man, it would have killed you to do a little bit of cardio, man. With some of them pounds. So let, where's the other guy? The path looks clear. Let's get back to Agent Ross. Put your gun down, friend. Can he just bring the vehicle closer here? God, you're heavy, man. I can't jump. Can't do nothing. Make me walk like a damn fool. This is not John with the big John. It's not the way he walks. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? I'll put him in the car. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. Let me on, goddammit. The car's probably like a two cylinder car. We can't shit. Lie. What the hell happened down there? It was a trap, they were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostis. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk or social secretary or some Just such. shut your mouth. Yeah. Are you going to keep talking? If not, I'll skip it. Can I drive? I want to learn how to drive. Dad, teach me how to drive. Come on. I promise I won't roll the car over. Besides, if it does roll over, I can just flip it right over. The thing probably weighs only 20 pounds. Oh, Come it broke down. On, not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Bust them. We'll hold them off. Hold them. We'll fix that damn engine. Let's go wind it up, huh? Is it coming? Hey, Come on. No, I died. Oh, he died too. Uh, bear one's another burden, so that's one of the missions. 
You know what? I'm gonna be where the hell over here. Damn it. Oh, too far away. Are these, are these Native Americans? I feel more like Native Americans. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you said enough. We'll find Vanderland soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come, try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much needed vacation and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed. Sure. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. We should take the Indian to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with him. But he speaks English. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, Mr. Fordham? Good day, good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderlind. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good one. Ah, uh, I'm just an errand boy every single time. Forgive me, sir. Uh, apparently there's ghosts in this town. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Alright. Where else can I go? Oh, we're right next to each other. Sweet. There, what is this? That West Job, Doctor's Office, Poker, Blackjack, Movie House, American Lobbyist, and Agent Ross. I guess I'll go to Agent Ross then. Hello? Oh, it's right here, sweet. Sorry. I'm always. Uh, 
Look where you're going. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do. It's my damn horse. I just really don't like when the time gate this kind of things, you know? Back over here. Back here. Doesn't really make it all that necessary, but however. Either way, I think this is a... Uh, this is a good way to end the episode, guys, since we just got into Blackwater and more episodes will be about Blackwater and the Indians and how I can't see my freaking family. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching my shitty gameplay, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, laters. Or...